This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams and Miss Melody. They've been off for the last six weeks with the bad weather we've been having here. Winter. It doesn't look like winter now, but it's a beautiful day. The first, like the first day of spring for us here. And of course, Miss Melody, for those of you who know her, is a hot-blooded kind of horse. So she's got this fear of mockingbirds and and can be quick to many things. So we started out with the walk and feeling the half halt. And now we're going to go into a stretchy walk. We're using the half halt as taught by Robert Dover, where the rider, lift up the front of your chest. So remember your half halt. When she drops you, the first thing you're going to do is take in a, dra a breath that brings your stomach back, lifts your chest, goes back to where your shoulder blades meet. Very nice. And then goes down into your seat. As soon as she's under you, you give a little bit of rain and start stretching her. That's it, Praiser. Okay, now since we've already started with getting her to connect more, you're going to start, when, after you've connected her, you're going to ask her for a mini stretch. You're going to soften her jaw three times on the inside and see if she'll lengthen on the outside rein and leg. That's right, and you soften her jaw on the inside, it would be now, 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 when her inside hind leg is leaving the ground. Good. And the, uh, the connection steps that we're taking are from... Uh, Arthur Cotis of the Spanish Riding School. So one of the things he teaches is, well, a lot of classical people do, but this is where most people hear it from, is when the leg is leaving the ground, the hind leg is when the rider should be using the rein and leg. So first we soften, yep, soften her on the inside rein and leg when her head pops up. That's when you need to soften her jaw with the outside rein and leg, which will soften her pole and give her a longer neck. You're going to add to your turns now. Again, this is from Arthur Cotus. Pointing your belly button in the direction that you're going. He doesn't use the belly button. So that your thigh naturally lays against her and helps tell her which way to go. So uh, Cotus teaches the thigh for influencing the horse's shoulders. Good. Yeah, if I'm getting the mini stretches right, I feel like she's kind of dropping her head. That's if she that's, that's all right, because she's trying to figure it out and she's staying connected. So if she's dropping her head, you just, you're just you giving your rein away too fast. And at first she's going to drop her head and bobble all over because that's who she is. And, you know, we've just, this is maybe the third time we've asked her to stretch like this, right? So this is still new to her. That's her saying this is too hard. Did you feel her jerk? Yeah. It's nothing you're doing. That's your signal. She needs a half halt. Okay. Put her back under your seat. And praise her. Good. That's it. Yep, and you're starting to feel when she wants to disconnect because once she disconnects, it, it takes twice as long to bring her back because she loses, she goes out of her body. Good. Keep her connected with you. That's it. Start doing more changes of direction, adding a stretch after you connect her. It's all right. Yep, she always thinks everything has to be go, 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 go. So this is a big change for Miss Melody to stay this connected. It's taken us at least three years to get her to this point where she would stay connected without freaking out. Good, good. What did you say? Yes. That's right. So she'll jig sometimes. And you're absolutely right. To keep her more connected, that is what the suppling is for. Softening the rein, putting her into the, you know, some people call it the frame, is a way to get a con more con more influence over her thinking. You know, it's like, is she in, is she in her body or is she out of her body is a great way to do that. She's pretty much in her body. Yep. Every now and then she's just not quite. Well, there might be a mockingbird out there, you know. That's right. It's hard to relax for her because she's hot blooded. And uh, when I first met her, she whew, couldn't canter on the lead behind at all. She was just running around like a crazy horse. Took us, uh, she paced at all of her gates. She was frantic, but uh, Trudy has brought her slowly back. Yes, so when she drops her head, that's when you're going to supple her with your outside rein and leg and praise her. That's right. Every time you feel her disconnect, it's an opportunity to do the half halt. 
and the half halt will become your core connection. Every time you want to do something different, you do a half halt and praise her. So she learns that that's the place that you're always going to take her to that she'll be safe. Good. That's it. Let's do some walk halt transitions now. Remember to count down to 10. Say it out loud. Melody, listen to my half halt. And you could feel she didn't really want to listen to it, but you had her listen to you. That was good. So the last few steps, she wanted to leave, but you kept her contained. That was good, Trudy. Good preparation. Now she's going to do different things because she feels you aligning your body different. You're really staying focused nicely on your half halt position. And her breath, of course. Good, nice preparation. So you can hear her saying it for some reason when a rider says the words. They're able to connect more with a half halt or whatever riding movement they're doing. I don't know why. Yep, is she listening? Good. Just a little disconnected there. But you felt it. You felt her disconnect and you brought her right back. You forgot to praise her though. That's right. <laughs> Got to praise her. She's trying hard, and you know, for her to stay connected is twice as hard as any other horse. I've been on winter break. Yeah, I know. Everybody's been on winter break. Good. Back to school. That's it. Take your time. Keep her connected. Remember to encourage her. Talk to her. She's used to hearing your voice. That was good, Trudy. Good. Yes, this is nice. Lift up the front of your rib cage just a little. Yeah, she kind of wants to dive bomb into the walk. I'm trying to wiggle the reins a little bit. Good, good. Remember to use your leg when you use your rein. So she said she likes to dive bomb when she comes to the walk. That's because for so long Melody was heavy on her forehand for everything. Because she was locking out the rider. But now you can see she's much more willing. Very nice. She's going to try it again. And what Trudy's noticing is she has to increase her aid. Sometimes she has to use more rein or leg. You barely see it happening, but the rider feels it happening. So she's feeling like she's adding more pressure, and sometimes you do. That's what trainers do. It's a you little bracing that I get right as she takes off. From the oh, good. So that's where you supple her more with your rein. Right. And your leg, of course, at the same time. Good. Very nice. Good, Trudy. So tell me, Trudy, what did you feel as you were doing this? That was very nice. She she came, to, she stayed connected because she was really, uh, the wind was really up her tail I today. I think it's cookie time. And it's cookie time. Um, well, definitely with this horse, I have to think quite a bit for her and for me. Yes. Kind of both at the same time to try to keep herself out of trouble. That's right. She um, tends to look for things. I guess it's just her nature. Yep, but, um, being a hot blooded horse. I really, really want things to be and why I've just come back to dressage and no more jumping is just I learned to relax. She's got plenty of power. Yes. But we need to get it in the right way and I feel like I'm able to, I'm using my seat Yes, more, you are. And I'm just one leg. I keep feeling slipping back. Well, we always have one leg that slips back. And you notice it's your right leg. She's not pulling as much on me yes. as she was when and she was staying started. connected pretty nicely there right especially considering it's been six weeks and we'd done this like twice before before winter came we because we couldn't connect her before that because of all the issues she had so this is wonderful okay give her a walk around and we'll come back and play with the trot very nice